Hello, everybody. It's Suzanne here, Relationship and Business Development Manager with Island Good. I am joined here today with Jacob from Shelter Point Distillery. Hi, Jacob. Hi. Hey, it's awesome to have you with us today. And uh, we are so excited to hear your story and, and how you got started with Shelter Point Distillery. Absolutely. Thank you for having me, first of all. Um, glad to be a part of this. Uh, I have a kind of a, a unique story about how I showed up at Shelter Point. I, uh, I was dating this wonderful girl in high school, and then she, she told me that she lived on a farm, and I, I grew up in Cumberland, so small little village, you know, small driveways. You, could, <laughs> you didn't have to worry about going down a dirt road for a kilometer. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I come out here, and this is giant farm, and she didn't, really, she didn't really mention that to me. Like She said it was a small farm. Uh, it's 400 acres, which is fairly large for the island. And um, as we're walking around on like the first time I ever came out here, we came across this brand new building. And I said, oh, what's that? And it's like, oh, my dad, my dad just built a, a whiskey distillery. Uh, I was like, oh, cool. <laughs> never, I've never seen detail. Two of those. Yeah. yeah. And uh, that was back in 2011. And I have just never left. <laughs> I just stayed Aww. on the farm. And uh, I slowly, you know, worked my way through. Patrick, the owner of Shelter Point, put me through the grind. So I was running our old commercial raspberry farm, um, which was a, a side project to the distillery. And then I was kind of doing the warehouse stuff. And then I did the sales for a bit and sort of just worked my way through all, all of the, uh, let's call them dirty jobs on the farm to the point where I now get to sit behind a desk and just fill out paperwork all day. Uh, right. <laughs> Patrick loves. So Patrick likes to, to joke that I came for the brunette and then stayed for the whiskey, <laughs> uh, which is one of his daughters, uh, who, you know, I've been married to for some years, <laughs> five or six. It's hard to keep track. COVID went very quickly. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I've just been on the farm. Yeah. Since 2011 and, and just really got to get all aspects of the operation right mm -hmm. from the ground up, which is really lovely. Uh, so I'm out there helping plant the fields, uh, do all the harvesting, and then I actually get that put the spirit in the barrel. So it's like, oh, I've been a part of every aspect uh, of the operation right from the ground up. So I put the barley in the ground, I took it out of the ground, I gave it to the distillers, and then I put it into the barrel, and then I dumped the barrel out five years later when it became whiskey. So it's a, it's a really unique kind of cool opportunity that I'm so grateful to be a part of, and then just being on the island it's such a wonderful community everyone's supporting local amazingly here and uh yeah we're just very happy to be a part of it <laughs> y'all that's awesome jacob what a great love story like i didn't know where we were going down that road and like your father-in-law he put you through the whole gamut of things and yeah he was like okay he's given you the keys to the distillery so what a what a wonderful what a wonderful experience and and journey um that is so cool yeah. And yeah, I, I agree. This last year, it's like seven, eight years. Like, what year are we in? I don't know. What yeah. year is it? the eighth <laughs> month of 2020? <laughs> yeah. Totally. Yeah. yeah. Well, Jacob, what do you love about being part of Island Good? Uh, just the, the sense of community with everybody. Just having mm -hmm. kind of this collective, collaborative group on the island. Everyone helping each other out, doing what they can to make sure everyone survives these trying times. It's yeah. just... Uh, wonderful to be a part of, of such a tight-knit community. Oh, and we love you being part of it. And we love all the collaborations and just, you know, learning more about how we can work more cohesively together. And, and that really has been um, the underlying message from all of the businesses is that, you know, it's like a family, like we've all found each other in this community of Vancouver Island. It's, it's broken down a lot of barriers. So that's, yeah, we, we share the same vibe. That's super cool. Yeah, absolutely. It's just great to be a part of. Awesome. And what message would you like to share with the community today? I just, I think on my behalf and the behalf of Show the Point, just kind of thank you for, you know, helping us through these, these times uh, of kind of trying needs and, and you know, mm. time when it's not been easy for businesses to, to prosper and the community's really stepped up and helped out everybody, I think. And I just want to say thank you. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you, Jacob. And, you know, we talked a little before about tourism and how that's been a really hard hit sector. And we know that we're going to bounce back and our recovery is going to be stronger, you know, with the connections of Island Goods. So we're so excited to rebuild with you and just continue the really deep connection. So thank you so much for spending this time with us today, Jacob. Perfect. Thank you for having me. Okay. Take care. We'll see you soon. See ya. Cheers. <laughs>